Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in the last video, we talked about in-out parameters in Swift. So if you haven't watched that video, I would highly recommend that you please watch that video. The link is floating right above and you can also find the link in the description box down below. So guys, in this video, we're going to talk about variadic parameters. So what are variadic parameters and how we can use them? As you can see, we have this function called calculate the sum right here, which simply calculates the sum of the integer values that we pass through it. And you can also see that we are passing an array of integer, all right? And what if I want to make it a variadic parameter? So right now, it's a simple parameter. We are simply passing an array of integer, but how I can make it a variadic parameter by simply replacing this with int and three dots. Now, the things remains the same. Now this value again is a kind of array of integer and this uh, square bracket is not really required because we are not explicitly uh, saying that we are having an array because we are having a variadic parameter kind of property. And what that property allows us, it simply accepts zero or more values of a specific type. And here the specific type is integer. And now we can pass, suppose a single value or maybe no value to it it will not show an error to us. I can pass multiple values, suppose a one, two, three, four, five, and it will simply, this function is going to simply treat this as an array of integer values, okay? So what I mean is, before in the case when we had this integer type of uh, array of integer type, this function used to treat this simply because we have explicitly told this function that we you have this uh, parameter called value and its type is an uh, array of integer. But now also it is treating this kind of as an array of integer because these three dots simply tells us that we can have zero number of values as I showed you before you can have zero number of values right here and you can have multiple you know number of values inside it and if I run this code you will simply see the sum would be 15 as it was coming before when we had this array of integer and if you try to tap on this by pressing the option key you would find that it is written integer right here because I have told you that this function treats this as an array of integer. But I have said that only for reference, for your reference that you can understand what veridic parameter actually is. So it is not exactly the array of integer, but it is kind of treated as an array of, you know, whatever data type you are going to provide. In this case, we have provided integer. In your case, it could be double, it could be string, it could be anything. One more simple example that I can give you right here is in print statement. We all know as a developer, we you know kind of daily use this. And if I show you the basic of print statement, what is going behind print statement, and if you jump to its definition, now you would find that the print statement itself has a variadic parameter, which is of type any. So I have told you about any type as well. You can find my video on my channel about any and any object. You can find the difference between them. So here the point is that the print statement also uses variadic parameter, right? You can see right here. You can also find the debug print statement and you would find the code written behind it. If I just search debug print, search it. Yes, it is right here. You can see that in the debug print as well, we have this variadic parameter, you know, because it is actually required. If you write, uh, suppose three lines inside your print statement, if I write, hello, if I write developers, if I write what's up, okay? So it will simply accept all these three elements inside it because it has a variadic parameter. In the same way, we are having this function called calculate the sum and we can pass multiple values to it. Okay, so as I hope I was able to make you understand what variadic parameter actually is. It is not exactly an array of the specific type. It actually is treated like an array of a specific type. You can have zero number of elements into it. You can have multiple number of elements into it. All right, it depends on your requirement. Okay, so some other examples that I can give you is you already use uh, UI views inside your uh, UI kit framework, right? So in UI view, we have the add subview method. So if there is a requirement that you need to add multiple number of uh, views inside your particular view, then you will again and again need to write add subview, add subview to, you know, accumulate all those views inside that particular view. But what you can do, you can make the extension of that UI view and you can simply write a method having type of UI view right here. Just for example, I'm, I'm just showing you that you can just write UI view triple dots 
and now you can just put a for loop onto it you can also use for each loop that depends on how you like it so you can simply write ui views triple dots and it will simply be treated as an kind of array of UI views you can simply pass multiple number of you know uh, views inside that particular function so you can just try that yourself I am just giving you this basic example because I want you to simply understand what that topic is I don't want to make it complex for you now you can explore it much further please do let me know wherever you use it and wherever you are going to use it after watching this video before using it let me tell you there are some restrictions that are you know applicable in Swift if you try to uh, make suppose two parameters inside your function say the second parameter is called second and you try to make that as well as a veridic parameter now Swift will not allow you to make two parameters and you can say it will not allow you to make more than one parameter inside a same function to be veridic parameter it is showing us let's just read this only a single variadic parameter can be allowed this tells us more about a variadic parameter this is a rule that we cannot use more than one variadic parameter inside our function also you cannot provide a default value to this variadic parameter say you want to uh, provide some values like 1 2 3 4 from the very beginning like you want to write this and 1 2 3 4 so you cannot do that let me show you that as well so there you would see that expected parameter name and it's not simply allowing us if you see in this case if i write integer and try to give it a default value as two there would be no errors right but now yeah of course the error are here because it's not a very very big parameter or an array of integers now so the errors are here but if you see at this line number there are no errors but in case if you make it a very big parameter and then try to give it a value it will simply show an error because you cannot simply give a you know default value to a veridic parameter so there are two restrictions that i have told you that you cannot give a default value to a veridic parameter and you cannot uh, make more than one veridic parameter in a same function all right so guys that's all for this video if you like the video please hit the like button down below and also tell me why you like the video and if you don't like the video please also comment down below and tell me why you didn't like the video and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one bye bye jai hind